Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Sindhu from Informatica GCS. In this video, we will going to see how to migrate Power Center to CDI PC on Linux operating system. The agenda of this video is to know about what are all the prerequisites required to perform a migration from PC to CDI PC, followed by a demo on how to perform this migration activity. Coming on to the prerequisites, CDI PC can be installed either as a fresh or on top of the existing PC version. Migration can be done starting from the Power Center version 10.4.0 and we have to validate the domain and its supported services status for a domain which involves in this migration activity. To migrate into CDI PC, the domain must be TLS enabled with any custom certificate which is either a self-signed or a C-signed. And we also have to unset the infra home environment variable. These are the prerequisites which needs to be carried before performing the migration. Let me show you a demo on how to perform this migration from PC to CDI PC. I have logged into my machine and I have unset the infra home environment variable as well. And I have uh, created a CDI PC folder. And this is my existing power center version, which is 10.5. Let me go inside CDI PC. In this folder, I have placed the installer and I extracted it and even I have placed a license key which is required to use CDI PC. And I also created a CDI PC underscore migrate folder which will be used as part of migration. Now let me run an installer. Once you run an installer, it will ask two options. One is to install CDI PC, another one is to migrate to CDI PC. In this video, since we are explaining my how to migrate to CDI PC, so I am selecting option two. Now you can click enter. And this will give the migration prerequisites. Here you can verify the prerequisites which is required before performing CDI PC migration. We have to review a PAM document and in this we can just validate whether the domain, Informatica domain which is selected for migration is, a, is on a supported version or not. And the Informatica domain and services are running on supported OS and DB. And this domain must contain only a supported services um, to perform a migration. And we also have to complete the following steps which is mentioned here before migration. That is we have to take a backup of domain and the services repositories. And if there are any unsupported application services which were already configured in a domain, you must delete those in order to perform the migration to CDI PC and uh, 50 GB of disk space available on a machine, we have to ensure that. And you must use the same Informatica user account which you used to install the Informatica. And the domain must be TLS enabled. And the rollback to the previous version is not supported once you perform this migration. So with this all prerequisites, I'm just proceeding further. Now it will, it is going to ask to enter the current installation directory that is where your power center current installation present. I am just providing the current installation directory over here. I have entered my current Informatica installation directory. Now it is asking allow changes to the node configuration. If you would like to change the node host name, port number or any domain configuration, then here is the steps you can select and you can change it. For now, I am not 
changing any of the configuration related to this whatever the mentioned here so i'm selecting no so the informatica domain details is displayed here this is my domain name and the host name where it is hosted on and the port number and now it is asking to enter the domain username and password which is used to log into admin console i am entering my domain username followed by password once you provide these details it will validate the user credential and it will analyze the domain configuration details it will take a minute upon analyzing the domain configuration details we will get a migration assessment summary result and here are the details whether we are ready to perform a migration to cdi pc from this result set we will get an idea domain must not be a kerberos authenticated and it should be tls enabled the domain and services are using on a supported database version and operating system and all these logs will be logged in a summary log where you can view in detail now i'm just proceeding by clicking enter now we are we have to provide a directory where we are performing a migration here we have to enter the directory for cdi pc as i already showed uh, as i already shown that we have created a cdi pc underscore migrate folder for a cdi pc and just providing that directory over here i have entered the directory for cdi pc now it will ask choose whether if you want to create a backup of the domain creating a backup of the domain ensure that you want to revert the domain to a previous version if required it's better to take a backup before performing the migration activity rather than taking in between the steps so i have already taken the backup uh, of a uh, backup of a domain before performing this migration hence i am not selecting an option to take a backup here i am just clicking no i am just selecting no hence i am selecting option 2 after selecting option 2 here it will going to shut down the domain and then it is asking to enter the location for informatica encrypt encryption key file and it has taken the cdi pc home followed by the default location of our uh, site key i'm just clicking enter because i'm not going to change anything here this will take some time once it's completed extracting all the stuffs and copying the informatica domain configuration and it start updating the gateway node and it starting the cdi pc node and it will ping the cdi pc node and admin console and with this we are done with the migration and here you can validate the migration status it shows success the informatica domain is successfully migrated to cdi pc and it also says that before you can log in to admin console you must register your domain in idmc and you can start creating a services and you can validate your services if it is a migration you can validate the services which is already available and with this we can see a domain details and host name port number and here is the admin console link and also the migration log file which will store all the details which we performed in the migration steps so i'm just exiting the installer here i try logging into my admin console this is admin console and here you can see the status and version 2023 12 is the latest version which we installed 
CDI PC with. So, in order to log in and use Informatica Admin Console, one must register their domain in IDMC. You can visit Informatica support videos and uh, refer to the domain registration, how to register your domain in IDMC for more details. With this, we have completed our demo on how to perform migration from PC to CDI PC on Linux. We would love to hear from you. You can provide a feedback by visiting support videos at the rate informatica.com and also you can write us on Twitter. Thank you for watching this video.